Hello and welcome back to Fenton Forest and episode 17. Um, we are here on the farm today and we are going to be doing um, a relatively quick one today of a uh, some grass, harv uh, essentially grass cutting ready for uh, on the sort of final days of summer. So with that, before we kick off today's episode, if you like the video, please hit the like button because that helps us out with the YouTube algorithm. And if you like the content on the channel, please subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so you notify when we post new videos. So today's episode, we will be working on field five. Field five is ready for cutting and uh, as we sort of progress through the seasons. Um, we are getting to that point where we're going to be starting harvest season and uh, field 5 is one of those fields that kind of needs some work. So if we uh, take a look at the uh, the old uh, growth progression as it were, um, as we can see field 5 is ready to harvest. Um, the other fields that we've got growing are fairly close, you know field 3, 2, 24, 2, 3 and will be ready probably very soon and we have essentially field 8 is growing again and I've just fertilized that um, so that's kind of I think we've fertilized that um, we, we shall see um, but um, yep we're um, pretty much progressing nicely we've got uh, certain things to get done Field 5 is today's task and um, one of the cool things I noticed after uh, the harvest of Field 8, essentially the cutting of Field 8, we did get this wonderful little yield graft. Um, so we got some um, numbers for yield. Uh, so we had 100% and parts had looked like maybe 115% in parts and then some bits which were sub 100%. So we will see how we progress on Field 5. So let's... Um, get our mower and um, let's take our mower to the entrance to field five and get him ready to cut so one of the things we're going to need to do um, obviously we're using coarse play to do the cutting uh, we will need to have coarse play um, uh, save the 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 uh, the tracks for these because we do want to be able to repeat these on a regular basis but also use these in conjunction with other tools so that is kind of one of the things uh, we need to do and um, once we get to field five we can get this kicked off so one of the things I may to end up doing um, is the, especially for the grass field we might end up uh, end up using custom um, field boundaries but for the moment we will just stick to what we've got at the moment um, if we go on to the field here we'll see that we've got ready to harvest technically speaking this grass here is actually ready to cut um, but um, we won't do that just we won't cut this grass here but we'll get this ready so this is um, the mower we will be using this to do the mowing on field 5. We will be starting in the current position, which is the uh, essentially the southwestern corner. And we need to drop that southwest. We are doing automatic direction. We don't need a headland on here. And uh, this will basically cut through here and so on. We will actually have this return to first point, which is this point here. Partly because we'll have other machines work on this build, so I don't want this cluttering up um, that exit endpoint at this point. So let's get this started. Starting off at first waypoint, and we'll let this go down. And we'll sit in this until we get to the bottom of the field, and we'll nip out when we get close to the sheds. And um, once we're close to the sheds, we will uh, we will basically uh, be able to. Uh, get that started with the next thing which is the uh, wind rower. Um, the wind rower will basically uh, uh, sort out uh, the organization of grass for us. 
um, and then we can then pick it up with the forage wagon one of the things I am interested to see is we have some weeds on this field I can see them there will they get cut with the grass um, or will they stick around because in theory they should get cut with the grass and they do so it's not a big issue um, so we're coming up to the end here um, this is cutting away nicely one of the things I might do is I might extend the field boundaries on this for course play on this field just to sort of take this edge in into play um, because essentially you get to this point here and effectively we've got this lovely uh, extra bit of almost the full line worth of extra uh, width we've also got all this extra on the back here but we could do that as well potentially and extend out so we need this guy here and uh, let's take this down to the um, start of the field and then we'll have him basically uh, organize the grass for us so we do have the, uh, the forage wagon um, part down here um, this basically uh, what we're doing is essentially I forgot to save that route on that one but um, I'll do that later <coughs> but I do need to save it on this one because we do need it for the forage wagon so the forage wagon can pick up the um, the relevant uh, grass line as it were and um, what I'm going to do do have all that grass there that's basically kind of um, caught up so clear that that course and we will create a new one so we will create a field current position southwest corner we'll do that we'll make sure that's the right width generate the route and then we'll go back here we are going to return to first work point on this guy as well and we're going to save this as field 5 um, and this is the, the 9 meter tether sorry windrow and we'll kick that off we'll let this guy get ahead um, so they're not both sort of at the same point on the field I'll follow this one up as well. And that's uh, leaving a nice little trail in the middle, which is cool. nice quick uh, well essentially uh, a, sort of a relatively quick episode today because this is essentially probably the, 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 the task for in hand uh, I wanted to get this sort of done um, on this game day so we don't have it all as it sort of hits the kind of proverbial as we get um, so much more underway later on we're gonna actually have so many tasks on all of the other fields harvesting um, we're going to be kind of hard pressed to keep up I think um, and um, organizing and getting the fields done so um, let's kind of get out here he's going to basically do his thing and we're going to go and grab this tractor this is our forage wagon and we're going to take this up to <coughs> Field 5's entrance, and then we'll basically uh, have this do its thing. So, we've got uh, the mower. We could optimize this a little bit. We could have the mower do the, wi the windrow afterwards. It does have a hitch on the back for the trailer. We could, um, so effectively, it could um, do that sort of collection. 
Um, but I kind of like actually having multiple vehicles doing it. I might switch it around later on. Um, but for the moment, I think that's just fine. Um, so, I kind of messed up last time I did this um, with the um, the course generation. Um, this it was a slight uh, mix up there where I had auto drive set up and I had course play set up. Um, so the thing I kind of switched to, and I'm trying to find it now. Uh, where is it? So, where was it, where was it, where was it? There's a setting that I completely messed up. Um, advanced settings. So there is a setting where you basically tell uh, course play to use auto drive. And I neglected to do that. Um, so, what we need to do is we need to take the field 5... Um, windrow which is here and we merge that into our current course and then we have this auto drive unload and refill now I tried merging this in last time and it didn't merge it in it didn't add it to this track uh, which is what I was expecting it to do and it didn't actually work so it kind of sat in the field and did nothing um, so basically what I've done is I've kind of, uh, I need to just turn off wherever it is, this, so it's just, um, got the start and ends, but basically I set this to auto, unload and refill, and then you configure auto drive over here with the particular mode, so it needs to be field fire 5, um, which is here, and the silo as your drop off location um, which, so this is the wrong one uh, so hold on so it's not this mode, it's not the unload combine, I'm pretty sure it's the uh, pick up and deliver option and we're dropping off at the silo and we're doing the, the grass so this is picking up at field 5 and then going to there so this should do the job so if we basically now set this off to drive at the first waypoint this should do the trick when this is full um, and this should unload at the silo when it's done and then come back and carry on from where it left off. So I'm going to leave this for a while and we'll check back in later on. Um, in the episode as it moves through the uh, loading process.
Okay, so we have uh, one of the pieces of equipment finished and um, we're picking up grass and and um, we're going to park this up, drop this at the sheds and um, we will uh, pretty much be calling the video a wrap at this point and uh, we shall uh, finish off the fields in the background um, and we will be moving on to the next stage um, next time out this this chap here is done for for now and um, we will uh, go pick up carry on from where we left off last time uh, so and then uh, yeah so with that thank you for watching and um, I'm gonna leave you with the uh, the old uh, pickup tractor so thanks for watching if you like the video please hit the like button and if you want to see more content from the channel please subscribe and with that, thanks for watching. Have a great day and we'll see you guys next time.